OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to perform an if statement based on either the color of the cell or the color of the font. Now to achieve this, we have to use an old macro function called get.cell, but we can't use get.cell directly in a worksheet cell. Instead, we have to create a custom function. Now, if you're using this method, you have to save your file as a macro enabled workbook. So to do that, you go to file and then save. And this is the file type that you must use, not the Excel workbook file type. So let's create our custom function. So the first thing you've got to do is select the first cell that you're going to use this custom function in. So I've selected C3. Then you go to the formulas tab on your ribbon. And then in the define names group, click on define name. So you need to give your custom function a name. We'll call it get background color. Then in the refers to box, you need to type the following equals get dot cell open bracket. Then you type 38. So the number 38 is telling get dot cell to retrieve the cell color information. When we retrieve the font color information, we won't type in 38, we'll type in a different number. So then I type comma and I have to specify which cell I want to retrieve that information from, and that'll be A3. Now the dollars in the A3 reference there need to be removed. So you can just backspace them and then close the bracket and then click on OK. So to use our custom function, all we need to do is type equals and then start typing the name you gave your custom function. And it should appear in the IntelliSense list. So double click on it, press enter. And what it does is retrieve the index number for that color. So the index number for that color is 46. If I copy this down, it retrieves the index number for the other colors. Now you can see that this orange color has an index number of 46. So in other words, if our custom function has returned 46, we need to apply the 25% markup. So what we do is we put our custom function inside an if statement. And our test will be, does our custom function return 46? If true, we need to apply a 25% markup. So I'm going to refer to this value here and I'm going to lock that. And I'm doing that with dollars. You can type the dollars in as you see them there, or you can press the F4 key at the top of your keyboard. Comma. And if the color isn't orange, there's no markup to be applied. So I then close the bracket and press enter. And if I copy this down, you can see I get that markup where we have orange cells in column A. Now I'll just apply some percentage format to those values. And then the sell at price would be equals the buyer times one plus the markup. Now let's do the same thing for the font color. So what we do is we click in the cell that we're going to use our custom function in. And we need to create a different custom function for this because we're looking at the font color, not the cell color. So we go to formulas, define name, get font color. And in the refers to box, we type equals get dot cell, open bracket. And the number we're going to use for the font color is 24, comma. And then we refer to the first cell that we want to get the font color from, and that's A3. And we take out the dollars and we close the bracket. Click on OK. And then we type in the name of our custom function get font color, press enter. You can see that black font has the index number of one, but if I copy this down, wherever I've got a purple font, I'm getting 18. So again, what I can do is put this within an if statement and say, if get font color returns 18, then apply the 25% markup, which I need to lock, otherwise return no markup. And apply the percentage format and then I can work out the sellout price 
taking the buyout price and multiplying by open brackets one plus the markup. Now the only downside to this is if you change the color of a cell, these formulas don't automatically update. So for example, let's change the color of this purple cell to orange. And you can see it hasn't automatically applied the markup. Now this issue can be solved using a VBA macro. And there's a link to the code for that macro in the description of this video. So what you need to do is go and copy that code. It's only a couple of lines of code. You right click on the sheet tab and then go to view code. That'll open up the Visual Basic Editor. And all you need to do is paste that code that I provided into the code window. You can then close down the Visual Basic Editor. And now if I change this background color to orange, it doesn't change it straight away, but if I click into another cell, it does update the markup. So you do have to click into another cell because the macro runs on selection change. So we would do the same also to the font color sheet. We'd right click on it, go to view code, just paste your code into that code window, close the Visual Basic Editor. So I'll change that font there to purple. I click into another cell and you can see it automatically updates the markup. Now the other thing to note is this will not work with conditional formatting. It only works when you apply the formatting directly via these buttons up here, not via conditional formatting. So that is another downside of using this method. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.